Welcome to our review of Redfall, the latest shooter game from Arcane Austin. Redfall is a game filled with guns, vampires, and special abilities that delivers a fun cooperative experience, even if some aspects can suck the joy out of it at times. Arcane has made a name for itself with games that excel in stealth and role-playing mechanics, both areas many shooters struggle to implement effectively. However, Redfall proves the developer is capable of branching out into the multiplayer market that's been dominated by live service games and high-profile sequels, although a little magic is lost in the transition. Players choose one of four playable characters at the beginning of Redfall, each with their own quirky personality and unique abilities. The game begins after a failed attempt to escape the game's vampire-infested locale leaving players stranded on the island with other survivors, fanged undead, and human cultists who'll kill and betray anyone to impress their new blood-sucking overlords. Safe houses need to be reclaimed, vampire nests must be destroyed, and the mystery of the island's infestation, along with its cure, awaits to be discovered in Redfall's campaign, which can be played in its entirety with between one to four players. Unlike Dishonored's more linear approach to storytelling, Redfall is an open-world game with two maps, loads of side quests, and various story missions to complete. Beating specific missions are required to progress the game's overarching plot. But at this time, all players level up and keep the weapons they find during cooperative play, while only the host is able to progress in the game's story. There are different story mission paths, but each leads to the same conclusion, and choosing one instead of the other doesn't affect the world or its characters. While exploring neighborhoods and completing tasks, Redfall's many towns and locations serve as a well-constructed playground for players to practice their mobility. The characters have unique abilities that can move themselves and their teammates to different locations in the blink of an eye. Combining these abilities to stun, trap, or quickly dispatch a group of enemies with other players is when Redfall shines the brightest. However, the game's upbeat hip-hop music feels out of place, especially when it's playing over conversations about NPCs' loved ones recently perishing. More side missions were needed to fill out the cast's relationships, lore, and connection to Redfall, which would have helped build a stronger connection to the characters and the town they are fighting to reclaim. Each class only has two special abilities and one ultimate, which can feel repetitive after a dozen hours of leveling up a class. Weapons also feel lacking in how they handle, which can make discovering new weapons less exciting than it should be. There is a lot to enjoy with Arcane's latest, even if some aspects don't feel as fleshed out as they could be. The game looks and plays great on PC with several graphics options, including performance and ultra-performance modes. Although the gameplay could use more variation, the locations and enemies in Redfall are a lot of fun to experience with friends. Redfall does more right than wrong in a gaming genre filled with multiplayer shooters competing for limited screen time. And it's worth a try, especially for friends who've dreamed of forming a group of vampire slayers. Redfall releases May 2nd on PC, Xbox Series X, S, and will be available on Xbox Game Pass. S. Rating, 3.5 out of 5.